Hello and welcome to a new video about simple electric circuits. Now we are confident. We know how to solve uh, different types of, of resistor combinations, replace it with one replacement resistor and then calculate whatever we are... and we know everything. Right? Huh? Let's try. We ha I have here a simple example. Look at that. So here is our, our resistance. I want to know uh, a replacement resistance between the points A and B. So exactly like we did last time. Uh, let's see what things are parallel, what are serious. There's nothing parallel. There's nothing serious. I cannot get rid of the connections A and B and here these are not parallel uh, because here this is somehow not working. We cannot solve this. We cannot solve this with our current knowledge. Yeah? Therefore, we need something. It's called delta y conversation, delta y uh, transformation. Here, we need this. All right. Why something is called delta and why something is called y? This is a y, this is a delta. Because it looks like a y and this looks like a delta. <laughs> Ooh, huh? And if it's delta y, y delta, I will talk about both. Eh? I have to give a name and that's it. Those two things, we can get to each other, transform into each other, conversation to each other. Yeah? So let's say we want to get from here to here. So we want to get from y to delta. We need to get those values out of these values. Uh, and I just write it down. I will not, I will not uh, calculate this. So I can tell you that R12 equals. And now the upper part is always the same. It's always R1 multiplied by R2 plus R2 multiplied by R3 plus R1 multiplied by R3. So all combinations multiplied to each other, all different possibilities, and then divided by the one which is not there. Yeah? Divided by R3 in this case. If you want to calculate R12, you have to enter R3 here. And R23, the above part is again the same. Divided by the one which is not there, and this is R1. And here, R31, the above part is the same. Divided by the one which is not there, and this is R2. From Y to Delta. Use these formulas. And now, Let's see what is happening the other way around. So now we are talking from here to here. So this is from delta to y. We have to calculate those values from these values. And this is working like this. This is r1 equals. And now those where 1 is always inside. Here 1 is inside. R12 multiplied by R31. And now the bottom part is always the same. It's the sum of all simply. R12 plus R23 plus R31. Now let's come to R2. And this is where R2 is inside. So this is R12 multiplied by R23 divided by the sum of all. Now that the same rule applies for R3. So whereas 3 everything inside is R23 multiplied by R31 divided by sum of all that's it. Delta Y 
right there of a conversation. And how is this helping now my, my case here? Huh? How is this helping? Okay. Well, I have here a delta. You see this? I have here, I have here the point one. I have here the point two, I have here the point three. So actually, this is not, this is basically R12. This is R23. And this is R31. And now I can transform this to a Y. Because if I would transform this to a Y, it would look like that. R1 slash. R2 slash. Here we have point number two, here we have point number one. Here we have A. R3 dash. Here we have point number three. And the rest stays the same. The rest, here we have R4. Here we have R5. And down here, we have connection B. Make sure. That's it. Yeah. I've just had, you see, and now they, those are parallel. Then those two are, uh, are those are in series. <laughs> those are in series. Then those two branches are parallel, and then it's a series connection. Then I mean, this is then pretty straightforward. So let's try to calculate this. Huh? Let's start try to get this. Huh? So we said R one dash equals. Hmm? So R one, yeah. The where R one is inside. Okay, where R one is inside. So we do have here uh, the case that it is R12 multiplied by R31 divided by the sum of all R12 plus R23 plus R31. Hmm. This is actually R12 is 200 ohms multiplied by uh, 300 by 100 ohms divided by and now we have 100 plus 200 plus 300 uh, so it's one, uh, 200 ohms plus 300 ohms plus 100 ohms so this is 2 20,000 ohms divided by this is 600 ohms. And what is the result here? Thirty-three, well, three periodic ohms. This resistor is thirty-three dot three periodic ohms. Let's come do the others. Put this away, maybe. Let's say R2 dash, and now all where 2 is inside, R12 multiplied by R23 divided by the sum of all. Yeah, This is R12 plus R23 plus R31 equals R12 is in this case 200 ohm multiplied 23 is 300 ohm divided by 600 ohm. Well, the sum stays the same. So let's see. 200 plus 300 division. 200 plus 300 divided by 600 multiplied, of course. One hundred. R two is one hundred ohms. And now R three dash is 
R2, 3 multiplied by R3, 1 divided by this sum. R1, 2 plus R2, 3 plus R3, 1. And this is R2, 3 is 300 ohms multiplied by 100 ohms divided by 600 ohms. And this is fifty ohms. So you have fifty ohms. <laughs> now it's much simpler because here we have four hundred ohms, and here we have five hundred ohms. Now let's. This is a series connection. And we have here R34 equals R3 dash plus R4. And this is 50 ohms plus 400 ohms. And this is 450 ohms. And now here those two are also R25 equals R2 dash plus R5 equals 100 ohm plus 500 ohm and this is 600 ohms. So actually what we have here is 33.3 ohms and here we have the combination uh, this was R234 450 ohms And here we have the combination 600 ohms. Now it's already looking much easier. Yeah? And now let's have a look at these two because those two uh, are parallel. So we have here uh, the value of 1 divided by 1 divided by 450 ohms plus 1 divided by 600 ohms and this equals 1 divided by 1 divided by 450 plus 1 divided by 600 257.14 ohms and what is left is 33 the three periodic ohms in series with 257.14 ohms yeah. and in the end we do have a resistance of 33.3 periodic ohms plus 257 14 ohms and this equals 290.48 ohms you see it helped yeah. why delta transformation conversation yeah. this helped this helped and the other way around can also help so this is actually a quite nice way yeah. if you cannot resolve a certain pattern of resistors you can do it like that now with those tricks uh, hints you should be able to solve almost all, uh, all resistor networks. It's always somehow possible. Delta Y. Resolve resistor networks, making things easier. This is also the goal of our next video. We, in our next video, we're talking about a theory of somebody called Divinor. And this Divinor claimed that you can replace a lot of things with just one voltage source. How this is working?
to replace things with a voltage source. Yeah? Complex things even. I'm showing you in next video. The Venera theory. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.